How's it going, everyone? I'm Daniel Rodriguez, a.k.a. Big D here. It's time to review Empire Season 2, Episode 2, titled Without a Country. This is a spoiler review. If you have not seen the episode, go to fox.com slash empire. Watch the full episode there. It should take me less than two minutes to recap the episode, give you my pros and cons on the final score. Uh, thanks so much for joining me. A little bit out of breath. Bear with me here. Bear with me. I'm sorry I'm late on this review. I know I'm late. That doesn't happen every week. Por favor, please, 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 please. Uh, pardon that, man. Excuse me for that. I'm sorry for being late. That doesn't happen every week. I promise it won't happen every week. It was a rough week, funeral going on, all that, so excuse me for that. My reviews usually happen Wednesday night or a Thursday. Thank you for understanding. And uh, shall we get to it? Let's get right to it. By the way, Empire's on a roll. It's hitting very, very well. It's a hit, baby. I'm not talking about with the ratings. I'm just talking about, for me, Last week I thought was great. This week, oh man. Who writes these shows? Who are you? Who are you, man? You gotta write my shows, man. I got a few I got a few scripts I've been writing. You guys gotta produce mine, baby. I, I really love it. Anyway, Cookie and Andre and Hakeem, they're making a new company. And uh, that's what they're doing at the moment. They, at least that's they've been saying that since season one. We're gonna make a new company. We're gonna make a new company, and then they just never do it. Uh, Jamal is singing, and he actually does an interview. And this is probably one of my favorite parts of the episode because he's doing an interview and talking about Michael, his lover, and everything. And it's so cool because it feels like an actual interview. It does feel like you're actually recording. It, the way he's talking, the way that she talks, the way the cameras are angled, it feels like an actual interview, and that's what I like about that. The authentic, excuse me, authenticity of it. Cookie interrupts. That wasn't really a big, uh, big shocker, you know. Obviously, she would. When you hear the elevator, you're like, "That's Cookie." That's oh yeah, it's Cookie. So she wants uh, Hakeem's album because, you know, Hakeem's album is under Empire. Jamal owns Empire. He runs it. So he's not gonna give Hakeem's album back just yet. Lucius is rapping and the court, you know, in back uh, where the prison is, and he's like doing the rap and everything. It was pretty tight, man. I gotta say, the it's a little like more of a hip-hop rap than just straight-up rap. It was more of a soul to it, man. He had, he had soul to it. I love that. And he started coughing. Coughing. Who is the guard? It is Luda. Luda Chris, baby. I love that. And he's the guard, and he's a little intense, man. It gets a little intense. and got a little crazy there, and he's he basically like, hey, why don't you boys stop? Well, he just calls boys. We ain't boys, we men. He's like, oh, yeah? And, like, the way that he did it, I mean, Luda Chris is a fan. He's not a fan. He's a great actor. I mean, from what I've seen, he's not a bad actor. He's actually... And then just thinking about the Fast and Furious movies, he's done other movies, too. And uh, he's a small-time stuff, but seriously, he's not a bad guy. He really played the character very well as a guard, and you believed him that he was really pissed off and intense, man. He had hatred towards Lucius. So Hakeem has auditions, and we have a Mexican girl coming in there named Valentina. And she's there, and... Believe it or not, I live in South Texas, so... I'm still in high school. I'm on my last year of high school. And every every day I go, I have girls like Valentina. And I don't know if you guys are around. Yeah, I live in, live in South Texas where I live. I'm near the Mexican border. Not like I step out. There it is. Mexican border. No, not like that. But I mean, it's still a few hours away. But I, we live near it. And uh, I have girls like Valentina near me. So uh, <laughs> be jealous. <laughs> Those girls are really nice. Let me just tell you that much. Very lucky guy. Either way, I was like, ah, oh, finally, a little Mexican. Yeah, I like that. I'm not Hispanic, actually. I'm not white. I'm not white. You see that? It's shining. That's a little white. But I'm not white. I'm not. I'm a Hispanic. I'm Hispanic blood. He's, there it is. So, I look white. I look white. Oh, there's that. But it's a light. I do look white in person, though. You come to me, it's like a lot of, I don't get a much tan because I'm always doing reviews for you guys. You're welcome. But seriously, Valentina. I was like, oh, little, we got a little uh, shout out up in here. Okay. Either way, I was like, let me translate for you, bitch. Like, oh my, oh. Huh. They're like that down here also. That's why it's not really that. It's it's not. It's a good, it's it, it's mixed with both. It's not good, but it's it's bad. It's, yeah. I, I don't know how to, either way. The, they're trying to do a three-girl group. Hakeem wants to make, like, this uh, new three-girl group band. And the world would be better a place without Lucius Line is what, uh... Ludacris is saying about Lucius. Jamal and Lucius meet, and they meet Thirsty, man. They're a little thirsty up in there. Thirsty Rollins, he's like this 
lawyer slash I would say mobster guy. He's a very powerful guy. He wants ha or, uh, Lucius wants Hakeem back in Empire. He says he belongs there. So he uh, comes back, or at least for now, Jamal says to Hakeem, "Hey, come back. He wants you back." So at least he goes and he's going to hear what Jamal has to say. Hakeem and uh, Valentina are in a tub. Like literally, it was a commercial. It comes back and they're in a tub together, and I'm like, "Wait, what? Wait, did I miss something?" And she looks like she's a 15 year old, by the way. I'm just saying the way she talks and the way she looks. Does this girl have her own car? Does she have like, does she? Do they not have parents to tell them anything? Like, is that it? Do they just? I don't get it. This is like the real world. It's a TV show. I get it, but. She looks like she's 15. She looks like she's Selena Gomez's young sister. I don't know if she has a young sister or something, but I'm just saying like that. But I'm like, they're in a tub, and it's kind of like, down here, I just can't do that to anyone. Hey, what's up? We're in a tub the next time. Like, that doesn't know how it works. I don't, I don't understand. Anyway, ah, lucky bastard. So Rhonda, uh, Andre's wife, lies to Jamal. I'm pregnant. I still think she's lying. I don't think she's actually really pregnant. She's hugging him. I love Jamal's reaction. He really was happy. And she's like, the man's motherfucker. Like, God damn, dude, calm down. I mean, seriously. So, they, uh, they want Andre back at Empire. And Lucius records. He literally records. He has 65 minutes to record in a prison. He goes to the storage room. He starts blasting, dude. And he is awesome. And it's like, snitch, bitch. Snitch, 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 something like that, you know, it's literally very catchy, and you're, every song, I'm, I'm not a big rap person, but I'm like, I'm doing that, man, like, I have, I'm a good at beats, like, I, I, I'm not, like, white, where, like, I can't capture the beat, man, I don't know, I used to dance, man, I, I know the beat, I know how to do that, I'm really good at that, but, back when I was younger, I used to be really good dancer, now I'm just kind of like, that's me now, see? What happens? Like, what happened to me, man? I got old. I got older. I'm not back. I'm not young as I used to to move around. So, either way, Andre is a uh, yeah. He records. Clyde gets them. I think Clyde is ludicrous. I'm still gonna say ludicrous. He goes in and he's like, oh yeah, blah, 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 blah. he puts him in solitary. Clyde is beat up outside. I guess he was at the mall or something. He gets out and these guys, these white guys, end up beating him up. And Hakeem is not going back to Empire. Andre leaves and he says to Cookie, let me go. Just let me go. <laughs> Let me go. He walks out. Lion Dynasty is the new company's name. Dynasty Empire. Who's going to win? Dynasty or the Empire? Dynasty is a long-running family, blah, blah, blah. I don't pay attention to school, but it's something like that. And, yeah, that goes down. So Lucius is let go from jail because uh, Thirsty had picks of the judge and some submissive role in Tom BDSM. Uh, you know, the bond and submissive and the, the ball gag on him. And, I mean, I was like, we all have all fetishes, but the judge doing that, why is it always the judges and the government people that always go to the submissive roles? It's always like they need to be controlled. It's like, damn, you're in a high power, and you go be this little bitch. I mean, damn. The judge was all like, that man's a 60, 70-year-old man, so you don't enjoy that. you got to be 20, 30 to do that. Man. I don't understand how seven year olds do that, but either way, if you do that, that's totally fine. I, mean, I don't care. That's your thing, man. But uh, seriously, it's like, ah, that's it. Lion's out of jail. Oh, Lucius is there. Whew. Ooh, he's going to get back. The lion is back. Wow. What do I think about this episode, guys? Let me get the pros first. Uh, Ludacris. He was a good addition. At first, I was like, look, it's Ludacris. I, I like Ludacris. I'm not a hater. I'm just like, oh, another celebrity cameo. He was, he was good. He was in there, man. He was really, really good, man. I really enjoyed his character. Very intense episode. It had season one feeling. I'm not saying it's a season one episode, but it had season, a part of it had, like, this is like season one. It had that season one feeling that with a, oh, it's my company, or this is your company. We're going to start a new company. It had that feeling back, like, when season one was going on. Uh, I love the interview between Jamal, and all the music in here is fantastic. There's not one song in here where I'm like, I'm not feeling it, man. I'm not going to drip drop, drip 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 drop. I'm not going to do any of that. But no, all the music in here was amazing. It was amazing. Not not one of it was, I was like, oh, I don't like that. I like drip 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 drop. You know, I, I'm not saying, like, I'm not, like, going to drip drop. You know, this is, like, really, really great, man. Uh, the whole editing thing, the way that they also did it with the, like, um, 
the, the here's the camera and then a cube comes in and then it knocks it out and then it's a big screen and then it goes small and then it comes like that and then it, that the way in the beginning like when they were talking on the phone all that the editing and the way that they did that and the directing of this episode awesome nothing wrong there uh, the gel and the recording Lucius and Joe is coughing all that that whole scene to when he recorded and everyone was like all the the inmates that are in there like his friends his group that was pretty cool. And I'm assuming now that Lucius is out, all the other guys are going to stay behind. So that's kind of a dick move. And if you ask me, like, they're, they're just there in jail. They're not going to get out. But still, pretty good. The ending as well. I do like the ending, how he got out of jail. I think they should have saved that for next week, in the beginning of next week. But still, I guess he got it out there. And Andre. Andre always, he has the most powerful, intense scenes. Uh, you know, he has, like, I guess, bipolar disorder and everything. But he literally is... He's uh he's he's intense, dude. He's in very intense. Let me go and everything. I mean, those are some intense words. And he always kind of leaves. He'll come back. But I think Andre. At first in season one, I didn't like Andre. But then he built up to a very fantastic character, an interesting character, and I want to see more about him this season. The only cons: what happened to Clyde? What happened to Ludacris's character? What happened? Is he going to come back? Is there plot holes? What happened? You could have showed what happened after the end. Uh, all I heard is his ribs broke. Where is he? He's in the hospital. I know he's not dead. So where is he? So the whole back and forth thing where it's like, oh, we're going to create a company. You've been saying that since season one. Stop lying. Like, go to Ice Cube or something for help. Seriously. The back and forth thing, literally. It's kind of like, what's going on, dude? They've been doing that since season one, and many things. I know it's like a soap opera, I'm fine with that, but boom, 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 boom. It's like back and forth, back. Oh, Hakeem, yeah, Jamal, you know what? I like you after all. You're my brother. Hey, how will you, man? Like, it's like back and forth, man. Is that how it's going to be in season three, four, five? It's just over and over again? Oh, yeah, yeah, we're cool. No, forget you, man. Like, is it going to be like that over and over and over and over and over again? Change it up a little bit. Change it up a little bit, man. Come on. And uh, Valentina, now I do like Valentina. She she's a pro. But uh, she's in the tub and like there's plot holes, plot holes with her character. I need a little bit. I need a little bit more information, please. If anyone knows that actress's name, by the way, just uh, I could look it up myself, but just in case I don't, I'm just hit that below. Thank you. Anyway, I'm gonna give this Empire episode, season two, episode two, without a country. And A minus. That was a great episode, and I gave last week an A minus, man. So this is a very great episode. It's about like, it's the same as last week. A little bit more. I enjoyed it. Like, I, I just, I, I think it's on a roll. I love these characters. I love Jamal scene. I love all their singing. I love the way the whole, the whole audition thing and everything. I love everything about this show. Uh, it's not my favorite show out of all the shows I watch, but it's in the top five list. It's just awesome. Comment down below. Let me know what did you think about the Empire episode. I'll see you all next week for more. I'm going to spot with you always.